this may be a stupid idea. We're gonna do a DIY tremie pipe down to the bottom of the pond. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. And today, we are going to fill our pond leak. If we get to the end of this project and I haven't dropped any of this electronic equipment into the water, it will be a miracle. This is the side angle view of the hole in the bottom of the pond the first time we found it. And then this is the overhead view. So um, kind of tapered off on the sides, but the dark hole at the bottom is where the water is leaking. So this was our first attempt to just get some material down over top of that hole, unguided. The buoy marked the hole, and so I just was dumping gravel, clay, paver base, and sand, and polymer here. Here's part one, and then part two in the orange bucket, followed by some kitty litter, just hoping to fill something in that big hole. Man, I hope this is hitting the mark. After that application, this is what the hole looked like. And the side walls are certainly more vertical. The hole's still there, but I gotta believe that some of that material went down that hole. I got my two dads doing the heavy lifting. This may be the stupidest thing. 21 feet. We're gonna go attempt to get that vertically over the pond leak. And then with a bunch of material, dump right down the pipe into the hole. So I set the camera up for a time lapse of this part. We had no idea how difficult this would be. This pipe was heavy and it sunk. So it didn't need any extra weight on the bottom. I've got to say that this was probably the easiest part of this entire project. I was able to manipulate that pipe on the console of the pedal boat right through the center. I was able to kind of guide it down and then pull it right back up. Okay, so we fashioned this pot planter onto the bottom of the pipe to keep it up above the surface so that any material that we drop down through the pipe can get sucked right down into the hole. The problem was is that these feet don't have enough of a platform. They sink right down into the clay bottom. Zip ties are cheap. Our time is not. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're we needed more footing than just these wire posts. It sunk down into the clay too much. And so, got a little piece of angle aluminum. Just the right, just the right size. Give us a tripod that won't sink down into the clay as much. Getting the pipe into position roughly was the easy part. Maybe the most frustrating of this entire process was getting the ropes tied off onto the pipe to keep it in place. My dads were holding the rope to keep the boat roughly in place. I had the camera cord down, I had the buoy string, and then another rope that was holding the pipe. And I got all of that tangled up. If you're a fisherman and you get a bird's nest, that's basically what it was, and it was frustrating. Well, we did it. This is our tremie, our tremie funnel. <clears throat> Got it tied off in four different directions. It's sitting right in the hole, but it knocked a bunch of the material down into the hole and it's not exactly suctioning, which is a good thing, but not great because any material I drop down the hole just fills the hole up. So I feel good about it being right over the hole, but it kind of sunk down into the hole, kind of clogging it all up. The whole idea of what we want to do, but I was hoping to get some material down in the, in the hole first. Anyway, you'll see on the underwater camera. So just to show you the progression, this is the hole after I did that first application. You can see the buoy anchor in the hole itself. And so I threw a dye tablet down to confirm the flow of the leak still. All this white, stuff on the surface that's a slimy jelly-like mixture of polymer and clay and sand so it's easy to be monday morning quarterback and looking back at the tape i wish i would have just left this thing right here but i continue to kind of shift this around 
trying to get it right over the hole. You can see the the cord from the buoy down in the hole, and I got the pipe positioned and kind of like kind of like a potato masher, just mashing all of that material that has congealed down there. So what I think happened is that a lot of this material got kind of shoved down in and sucked into that hole. And here's a part where you can see some of that just getting sucked right down in there, which will help. So that I've narrowed the hole down, that little that little dark piece, there's a dark leaf there, but the, the dark the dark hole just to the right of the pipe is the last opening of the hole that I can see. And I just continue to keep shifting this thing around. If I would have seen that on the camera while I was in the boat, I would have left it alone. But trying to hold the camera, trying to shift this pipe, hold the ropes, it was a fiasco. But here, all of this stuff down there, that's all the polymer and clay and sand and paver base, all of that material, just all mashed together. So at this point, I threw a dye tablet down to see if I could track the leak direction, because at this point, I couldn't see the hole anymore. I was pretty sure that I was over it, but there was nothing really getting sucked down into it. So I was just trying to see if I could get the dye tablet to trace down into the hole. It was kind of inconclusive. So ultimately what happened here is that the pipe actually nestled down inside the, the depression of the hole. And so now the pipe is like sitting right on the surface of all of that stuff and there's no room for any material that I would throw down the pipe to flow through. What I can see here is that the dye seems to mostly be rising, which I found interesting. It wasn't getting sucked necessarily anywhere, but more so just rising up. And at this point, I throw some, I throw a little bit of bentonite down to see if it's kind of like it's now it's snowing bentonite. I was seeing if I could see any of the bentonite getting sucked down anywhere, but there's no open holes at this point because the pipe is clogging it shut. So then I stuck the camera down into the pipe and dropped a dye tablet to see which direction the dye flow was going. And clearly it's moving in one direction. Where that's going exactly, I don't know, but as I watch closer, the dye is rising up the pipe. A, a significant part of the dye is just moving upwards, which was confusing to me. And then I just start shimmying that pipe around, trying to disrupt what was going on down there and hopefully being able to jam some more material down into the hole. So here back outside the hole, you can see the depression on the right side, that dark hole. That's what I thought maybe was still an opening. And so I dropped some more bentonite down to see if anything would get sucked down in there. And if there's a fast, if there was moving water that was pulling, I would have thought that some of this bentonite would have sucked in there. And I didn't see any of that happening. So here's another outside shot that dye tablet that I dropped in the pipe of that dye leaking out. Polymer part one. Polymer part two. Huh, that's funny. Sink. Down she goes. So because there's no suction in the pipe itself, we were finding that it was hard to get anything to go down the pipe. And so resorted to focusing all around the pipe. Got 
Didn't quite go as planned, but it might be working. I know that the pipe is right over the hole. And with all the material that we put down there, since there's no suction, the water actually isn't. Like when I pull the, I pull the pipe up a little bit, like the water level doesn't drop to the same level as the pond. And so the bentonite and the polymer, I think sealed up the end of the pipe. It can seal a six inch hole. So it's gotta be sealing something down there. Guys, I'm tired and hungry and man, this is a mess. Now for what you've been waiting for. What did all of that do? So this is two days later with the camera down right next to the pipe. There look to be like little craters and I don't know if those are little seeps that opened up next to the main hole that I've got the pipe plugged into. Clearly on the right side of the screen here, that crater, it almost looks like an ice fishing hole. Polymer is covering this entire area. There's this jelly-like polymer substance that has expanded and it's covering this entire area. And that hole I've got to believe that it opened up a, a channel to the main hole because of the water pressure still. And I'm, I'm trying to figure this out just like you are. Here's a, a little closer look. But what I found interesting is that the polymer has completely sealed that. Now there may still be water leaking out that, but I was fascinated that there's this the polymer is it's probably two or three inches thick there so I dropped another dye tablet down and here the dye is just rising straight up the dye tablet like, punctured that jelly polymer base and so now I throw some bentonite down to see you can see it kind of snowing bentonite here and the little particles just get caught on the surface. And so I'm not sure what that means. If there's a, a leak there or not, or if there's water underneath the polymer. Um, I'm learning here along with you. But there's no, there's no dye path that's going toward that hole. In fact, I didn't notice any direction that dye was going other than straight up. So I've thrown a bunch more bentonite down in this area and that hole is completely covered. Nothing's getting sucked down in there and it's a, a little bit of die floating by and now I'm throwing some little small pea gravel down kind of agitating the surface that polymer jelly substance mixing with bentonite and all of the clay particles and gravel and now I'm just making it a blizzard down there. Trying to have the polymer bond with clay. Bentonite is clay, it's just an expanding clay. And so this is where we're at. This is what it looks like current day. And so while that's all going on underwater, above the water, we've got our waterfall and our patio coming together. Greg Gill at Eastern Iowa Landscape and his crew are getting the straw mats down, grass seed to help prevent the erosion. And so I'm working on a waterfall build video that you want to check out. So go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching the channel, guys. Appreciate your support. We'll see you next time.